Well, good morning, everyone. I'm very happy uh, to be with my youngest son today. And we are introducing the world of vision, our course, our second course in our unit on light and sight, um, because you have to have light to have sight. And so we talked about light, and that's a great preview. If you're starting with this uh, course, you might want to go back and review or look at the light course as well. We're going to examine in detail how the eye works this week. And uh, an interesting, interesting note is that how infants see, this guy's not really an infant anymore. He's getting very, very good depth and peripheral vision now. Uh, that's one of the things we'll explore is how an infant sees versus how an adult or even a one-year-old sees. We'll get a detailed physiology of the eye and its inner workings all the way from the cornea back to the rods and cones uh, at the back of the eye where the retina is and a little understanding of how the optic nerve sends those electrical signals and how the brain processes that as an image. We'll learn about what, what 2020 vision actually is, why the numbers 20 and 20. We will learn about nearsightedness and farsightedness and myopia, which is blurry vision. We'll have some fun projects where you get to test uh, to see where your blind spots are. We'll learn about what color is. And color is something that uh, infants develop, color vision, as well as um, being able to distinguish more, uh, I guess, uh, subtle differences, textures, uh, high contrasts, and bright colors are something that's easier for them early on. And then they developed the ability to see those subtle differences. And we're also going to look a little bit into how animals, uh, different types of organisms, see. I have with me a little book here, one of my favorite books. I'll talk about it probably more than once. And it's called Pilgrim at Tinker Creek, which is a great high school level read. And um, it's an exploration in, into the world of, uh, of nature. And one of the, the interesting topics that Annie Dillard talks about in this book is this idea of, um, of, of how potent vision is. It's very potent. And hey! And so I hope you check this book out too. Uh, there's some fantastic uh, case study about um, people who were not able to see at birth and then through uh, higher medicine, uh, medical advances, they were able to see and how that actually wasn't necessarily a benefit to them and how that was challenging to them because their world uh, was very well understood without vision. And now all of a sudden another potent sense is on the scene and that disrupts a lot of things. And it disrupted a lot of things for these people who had never seen before. And in many cases, they actually didn't want to have that uh, sensory ability. They were much more comfortable without vision. And so uh, enjoy your exploration of vision this week. And um, thank you for, uh, for using science, knowledge, and know-how.